watching now or later and welcome to Helion's Hub with me Helion along with a piece of Drakir <laughs> who's a model I, or whose uh, avatar I might have to shrink down a bit to fit on the bar below but uh, maybe not me we'll see uh, at least he's covering less of the game now than before but uh, yeah <laughs> Uh, one last little thing. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I have Windows Task Manager up in this corner to keep a track on the performance of everything. But yeah, this is the first time that we... Well, this would have been a main week stream. Technically, it still is. But yeah, this is a catch-up on Friday of what should have been on Tuesday. And yeah, let's just say that some stuff got in the way. Uh, even though one was especially petty, it was just a freaking controller just absolutely refusing to work. Yeah. Yeah, it only shows to work shortly after we gave up. Yeah. <laughs> At that point, we were too annoyed and frustrated to care much for streaming. And yeah, it yeah. wouldn't have been a good stream anyways then if we were just being pissy. Yeah, and my blood pressure was high. Probably because of we've been having so many delays that I was getting stressed. Yeah. Uh, first thing that would probably be obvious is that there is a new over... Well, that there is an overlay on everything now, instead of uh, the full screen. Uh, yeah, this is what a lot of VTubers do, so I thought I might as well try to emulate it, see how it goes with everyone. Uh, I don't have anything set up for chat over there yet. Uh, I don't know if it will line up well. And most people have it so that the chat stays. Uh, with me, it's still set to uh, fade away with time. I'll have to look into changing that. But for now, let's finally, <laughs> after almost five, no, not after half a week, let's finally get started on Darksiders 3. Yes! Let's see. Lurcher crystals are collections of spirits that can be shattered in your inventory to acquire the souls trapped within them. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I started up a test thing uh, to see if the game runs well at 60 and such. So in instead of doing that, let's start a new game so we actually see what uh, is at the start and everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, we missed this earlier. So yeah, new game. Start at the top. We have, yeah, a lot of difficulties. Story for, uh, play, yeah, play, 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 for play players who are looking for less of a challenge. Uh, balanced for players who are looking for a challenge, anything but fair experience. And then it just gets worse and worse from there. Uh, your pick. Shall we go for story or balanced? I just suppressed that story a little bit. That means they finally have a game that my, I might enjoy playing. <laughs> Though, let's be honest, this this game series is a definition of easy is usually very questionable. Yeah, I hope that by this point they'll have uh, managed to fix that. So yes, go with story difficulty then. If we do need most of the story, and. Oh bloody! It feels like a trap. Like if, like we we think balance will be balanced, then suddenly we get wrecked. Okay, I made a little mistake there in OBS. I, the game uh, audio wasn't actually coming through because I forgot to remove it from the pre scene. Uh, so yeah, it was all, also muted over here. I'll fix that next time. Oh. So yeah, now they're finally having the game audio as well. So, yeah, story difficulty or balance difficulty? A part of me wants to go for balance since it is probably uh, how it would be similar to the other games. Yeah, let's go balanced for now. Yeah. Then we also have combat mode here. A default, a more methodical combat system than Dark Souls 1 and 2, so a lot less button mashy, I presume. And classic, classic hack and slash combat similar to Dark Souls 1 and 2. Yeah, let's just go with this. We've we've had two games where we've done it like that and we are not enabling this. Uh, we are not. <laughs> but that's permadeath. So yeah, we've had plenty of the gameplay uh, 
Yep. Creator constructing universe teeming with imperfection, misery, sin. Among the scholars of both heaven and hell, this query is known as the riddle of sorrows. If sin is itself a part of the grand design, is not sin then, by definition, divine? A question for the sages. The one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic. The Nephilim. Spawn of angels and demons. Warriors, relentless, unstoppable, blood mad. Until they were betrayed by four of their own. War, death, fury, and strife. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed upon the traitors by those sworn to maintain symmetry, twixt order and chaos. The Charred Council. Bear witness as the Council holds court to end the Nephilim War in the name of balance. This is the new pact. War. Bringer of worldwide fire, you are the juggernaut of all pain. Death, dark soul of eternity, you are the deepest decay, you are empty life. Strife, <laughs> endless spirit of timeless unrest, you are all that is unsettled in the hearts of that which lives and breathes. And finally, fury. Terrible engine of rage. You are the machine that. Are we to waste our time on ceremony or are we to fight? <laughs> ah, we like her already. Would I recognize Hoffman? You are the most impatient of your kin. The least predictable, dancing on the edge of your own reality. Your brothers understand the undertaking set before them. But do you? Still talking! Shall I have death fetches some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury, your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder, will you light the flame of creation anew, or stomp out the embers for good? I know uh, a little clip that I'm going to make. <laughs> You know the uh, get on with it scene from Monty Python? Really yeah, I do. Reality. <laughs> Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? Oh, hello. Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am. Perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't Fantastic. love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. Oh, hello, War. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slaying. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horsemen, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury, approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the seventh seal. <sighs> the apocalypse. Why would he. We know not yet. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of heaven and the hammers of hell. 
so the horsemen are to ride. No. While the Charred Council seeks to understand how and why the traitor war has committed this abominable act, there is a matter that requires delicate attention. We should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The seven deadly sins have been released. By whom, we cannot say. But the seven roam the earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the horsemen. If you would trade obedience for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. You depart immediately. Oh, hello. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! I will allow you to accompany me. To stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. And be so. <laughs> Go. Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the seven deadly begins there. Fury. Wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. I cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Keep my words. Okay, a bit of a retcon, but more an insertion than a full change. That's nice. Yeah, if, if it even is a retcon, it might be more in depth. Yeah, a retcon doesn't always have to be changing something of the past. Like, it could also just be inserting more information into it, like, well, adding all of that into there. Uh, yeah, in between if, what uh, we saw in yeah, Dark Siders One. Yeah, especially if it's meant for the region right to explain further what they actually intended, and it, it might uh, been missed out in the first iteration. Yeah. Let's and, see, soul lurchers. Fallen enemies will release soul lurchers upon death. Blue lurchers act as currency. Green as uh, well, re green replenish your nephilim's respite. And yellow lurches fill your wrath bar. Okay, so they've never... I'm not sure if they've had... I, I think they called it health before. I think so too. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm going to give the hell done a lot of retcon that's technically been done well. Is Guild Wars 2 for... It was not really a retcon, more of the first game's story was told in from the human perspective. So when the signal game came out, you got more. Uh... Seven, seven. I just know it. I hope it's not envy. That one's a terror. <laughs> right, as I was saying, in this in Guild Wars two, you got to see the perspective of many races instead. Yeah. And as well, they acknowledge that uh, all right, we were wrong. The gods did not create this planet, and so on, so on. So they were not fully reckoned, just. Acknowledge that this info is no longer correct in in-game lore. Yeah. Okay. Controls are still mostly the same X attack, but we are a lot more acrobatic now. Oh, and we have one yeah. that can spit. Ugh. 
I said it. Never mind, it's Rose. Yuri has quite a personality. Yeah, she's basically the exact opposite of Death, who is currently looking to clear Earth <clears throat> to, uh, what is the word, clean up? What the heck is... Uh, War's name? Small healing shards. Uh, what I'm kind of mage sure is that? <laughs> I don't think either of us wants to know. Nope. Wait. And... I think that might be a heart. Could have been. Okay, arcane counter after a well-timed dodge. Okay. But yeah, I I like how she is just get on with it. <laughs> but yeah, she is fury. Even though we have we established in the uh, well in the previous game that we streamed that the names are more like a title than an actual accurate descriptor. Yeah, though they are somewhat accurate, <laughs> as Fury is showing. So it would yeah. make sense that she'd be the impatient one. A haven. A haven for what? Vermin? Humans, mistress. An adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Walter? I... I know not but what the council commands, mistress. The quest for the seven begins here. Envy. Mine! Humans! Haven! Everything here! <laughs> mine! Move on, horsemen, or ye be mine too! I'm on a mission. <laughs> Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes crawling through dirt. <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. What they have, I will take. <laughs> when they have nothing left. They will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not Oi. in for them. I'm all yours. No! <laughs> oh, immediately starting off with an attack, okay. Resentment so made flesh. So we are fighting Singe Grandmother. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, what was that? I think it was the Wrath mode or something. Okay. Uh, oh, she's probably going to have some sort of shockwave attack. Oh yeah, she is definitely building up on something. Uh, I like that we're. I like that they pulled out the seven sins uh, for the. You know, yeah, we we need to go get up quick. I think <laughs> that is going to be a really big boom. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, the seven deadly sins. Uh, oh, oh, what the? The heck did we did? Did we pull this up from? Up? Uh, yeah, there. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, that was the. I think that it was the game taking a bit of pity on us there, because another blast would kill us. But yeah. Uh, this, this isn't the first game where the seven deadly sins are personified. Yes, uh, uh, that's the bloody heck, man. There's the anime, the seven deadly sins, and there's the seven deadly Digimon. Yes. That's a seven. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you might have that in there. Let's see. What's also yours is the dirt in your mouth now. Oh, oh. Mm, um, I don't know if they oh. added the, the seven little scenes in the Supernatural series. I do know the Four Horsemen was in that. And I think War rode a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might be wrong though. Oh. And also, who is the voice actress for Fury? 
there. She sounds so damn familiar. Yeah, I've heard her voice actor before, and I have to say, I like the voice acting so far. Yeah, I, I feel it. I can basically hear the voice actors having a lot of fun. <laughs> and poor slap the bitch down. The thing about it, the voice actors usually have that voice, but for more calmer character. So, I, I guess he's happy to get to use the voice for something similar, but more, yeah, wild. <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. Oh, that's mine! That's our way out. Oh, mistress, not to be a bother, but weren't you supposed to catch envy? I did. Watch. Is that a... <laughs> It's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. Such a suck-up. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this Watcher. Like, like, uh, how, like how Fury is basically the exact opposite of Death, this Watcher is the exact opposite of uh, the original Watcher, a.k.a. Mark Hamill doing the Joker <laughs> as a demon. <laughs> uh, but yes, she is going to try and backstab us. Yeah, and I think as you can see what her character development will be. Uh, of you, I mean. That she'll yeah. get a bit... A big one? Yeah, that she'll loosen up a bit? Yeah, probably be a little bit less... Uh, Arrogant, less ego. Basically, this entire game is likely to be anger management therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, but yeah, that, that watcher is so going to try and backstab us at some point, and she looks a bit like a gimp. He? A gimp. It looks like she's wrapped up in a latex. Ow. <laughs> it. I did not know that. Let's see. Talisman of Sin. The Talisman of Sin will guide you to the deadly sins. It is displayed at the top of the screen and directs you towards the nearest sin. The skull indicates the nearest sin and the dot indicates other sins that are currently accessible. Okay. So this is m more open world. I, I, I think I'd heard of this game being more open world already. What's this? Lordship Crystals. These crystallized collections of spirits can be shuttered in your inventory to acquire the souls trapped within them. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I do wonder, are they going to use the actual seven scenes or are they going to be creative sense? Let's be honest, the original real life Four Horsemen is not... It has war, it has death, but does not have fury and strife. Yeah. Though, if they have the actual seven scenes, I there are some scenes I will probably be a bit worried about. I think I recall some things about this game or a bit of stuff there. I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift. 
One I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also by far the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both heaven and hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps. But you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. Okay. Yes, the voice actress. <laughs> yeah, we can look that up later. Um, yeah, for I I know it's a good one. But... Nope, can't use that anymore. Or that. <laughs> well, I thought we want you to fall down instead of something else. What's this? Fast travel point. Um, I think I heard this game oh. would one day unleash all this, but seeing it, <laughs> his gifts are impressive. Let's see, I think oh. I've seen this game described a bit like a sort of like Dark Souls, though not as uh. Punishing as Dark Souls. Oh. And so far the most uh, comparison I can draw is the, the pickups everywhere, but I'm guessing that will change once we get out of uh, all of this tutorial stuff. Oh, we have heavy attacks with Y as well, still. Yeah. And I think I just realized something here. I think I know what the Watcher is doing. Yeah, she's sucking up to try and get close to probably to the point where Fury will not see her as a threat anymore. Yeah, and also just yeah, basically just fill up her ego. For I, I, I have suspicion the short console are not really. Oh wait, yeah, that's remember now. War did declare war against the console in the first game, didn't he? At the end. Yep. That was because, uh, I'm trying to remember at the moment, the council basically framed him for what others did to try and save face, I believe. Yeah, and I'm suspecting that they might be doing something the same with her. Yeah. And if he... the, the Watcher is feeding her ego, she's more likely to frame, do that for, for them. Frame herself and all that. Mm. Let's see. Don't see your way over there. And I, I don't know what I did earlier when I pressed Y. I, let's see. There's a moment where the whip blows for a second or so, or even less. I'm guessing that would be. Hmm. Okay, I was wrong. That. I keep I when I press Y nothing seems to happen yet, so that might be something that gets unlocked later. For now though, let's just keep killing. Oh, that was a perfectly timed one and we were at the <laughs> Okay, that probably would have looked a lot cooler if the camera was in a better position for that. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, we are going to get through quite a lot of uh, whip swimming. It's not swimming, swinging. Let's see, is there anything here? Oh, there's a whip, here? there's a way. Ooh. I guess we put it as a song. <laughs> From a very old Lord of the Rings cartoon. Hmm. The, was that the sign about yoga? 
Yep, yoga at the very least. Let's see. Bunstead yoga, optimize your life. Oh, and what, wait, what was the other one saying there? Junk. That's the most annoying for the said yoga at first on. <laughs> what the heck? I feel like I just got mocked by the game. Okay, we got this. Hmm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Don't button mash too much in the air because you'll send yourself crashing down. And we're probably going to end up doing this over bottomless pits eventually. So, yeah, there we go. And there we go. Let's see. I've got both OBS and the Steam Overlay keeping an eye on the FPS of the game. And so far, I've not seen any real dro big drops. We have been losing some frames, but only 0.1%. Oh, yeah, there's little stutters like there. I'm not sure if that was visible on the stream. Oh boy, down. Okay, what are you? Oh. You're a thrower. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, I just realized, they, they don't say their names anymore again. What the heck? Mm. And yeah, now it takes a... Uh, now it takes a moment to uh, restore our health again, so uh, we can... We can spam that less. Hmm. Yeah, in, in in the time limit, at least so far, this is probably the the this will probably get slotted in the fur as the first, because yeah, war is still locked up, and yeah, we're definitely going to get to break that sooner or later with the new ability. So we're basically doing things at the same time as Death is doing something. Um, yeah, about should be. Actually, yeah. Uh, most of Death's uh, games probably took place before uh, War was re sent out as well. Or, or actually, no, more during, because... Uh, 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 at the end of Dark Darksiders 2, it's also at the end of... Oh, at the end of... Ah, come on. Of War's uh, game. Okay, it's a pity that they didn't keep the... In the second game, they used to have names over the mobs. We got to know what they are. Here, they took them out again, apparently. Yeah, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. The first one was more precaution dodge. <laughs> Good thing that I did, anyways. Not too early. Okay. Oh, hello there. Bad Let's monkey. grab that. Can we even get up there? No. So that's just a tease. Unless there's, and... you can climb the wines? Yeah, the game probably would have told us about that. And okay, this is blocked off. Hmm. We might as well check the wines then. Let's see. Do we even have any... Wrath attacks yet. Let's see. Barbs of Scorn. Scorn, the hilt that Fury carries with her at all times. Uh, forged long ago by the Mad Smith, Scorn adapts to Fury's will uh, with each of her forms. The uh, preferred form of Scorn is a bladed whip that Fury wields with quick, devastating precision. Okay, uh, move sets. Oh, seems like we'll be getting quite a bit of weaponry. Or quite a bit of forms. And, oh, there's the, there's the way through. Perhaps there are human survivors. Not my concern. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, let's take a quick little look here. Let's drop these two down a bit. Yeah, the, the FPS is taking a dip now towards the 40, which OBS apparently isn't fully recognizing because it says it's st uh, running, its FPS is still running at 60. That but it's tree. it's impressive. But is it just me or is it out of place here? It is a maker tree. Most likely we will find refuge there. Makers here. We know of only one maker on Earth, and that's the Black Hammer. He should be out in, in his own little refuge. Yeah, and I saw something weird there. Nope. But beside that. And that saw, was... I think I saw, if you go out, out again, I think I saw a wall of molten metal. Okay, turn around to left. Uh, I mean, right, right. Okay, behind you. you. What is that? What is that? Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not natural. Wait, that is that looks like... Yeah, we're going to climb down that. Alright, I guess they change out their demon growth to whatever that is. Let's see. Let's lower a lot of things. Let's see. There's no preset that we can change. So let's just, in general, set everything to high instead of epic. See if that helps a bit. Yeah, there we go. Let's add a 20 FPS back onto it. Now, let's see. Okay, so nothing in here. Then we go the other way. Okay, some... Oh, that's a big drop again. Okay, the game might be having a bit more difficulty with bi uh, big open areas. back to 50. We're getting a lot of these currency clumps. Hmm. And I can hear something growling here. Oop. <laughs> okay, that's one way of dealing with them quick. Ow! Oh, I, I just read something. Mm -hmm. One of the zombies trying to be cool, but he doesn't realize he, he's using the sword on his back the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, you see yourself. He, he put the moon on his back on the wrong way. <laughs> they have to push me on your back, not in your back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's where it's to show that there are a bunch of backstabbers. <laughs> Aren't we making a mighty ruckus? Says the demon who announces his ambush. Ah, it was not my intention to do battle, horseman. <laughs> <laughs> well, such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Bolgrim, merchant of the damned, a trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And whose souls do you trade in? Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your way. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. The seven deadly sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setup. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. 
call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. Okay, how do you know about all of that, Vulgrim? Oh. Oh, and yeah. That was a print of his earlier. Hmm? A theory. What if Vorgrim is behind all this? <laughs> now that would be a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That would be. Fury can feed collected souls to Vulgrim to earn at attribute points. Attribute points can be spent in Fury's character menu by pressing down. Vulcum has allowed you access to the Serpent Holes. This ancient network of pathways flows through the world and beyond, allowing fast travel between plants. Okay, that's er that's quite early. And yeah, that was this we found earlier. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Can't tell if it's the same voice act, but it's very similar at the very least. This will be fun for both of us. I think it's the same voice actor. Hmm. Okay, so we level up by feeding <laughs> by feeding him. As you wish. Let's see. Take your time. Yeah, okay, now I see why they call it a very Dark Souls-like in some aspect, because we need those souls for leveling up, but also for buying stuff. Let's see, Echo Mark. Holding this token inspires reflection on past choices and a chance to improve upon them. Shatter to refund all of Fury's attribute points. Okay. Echo marks are rare oddities. The result of deep regret over past decisions coupled with the desire to make amends. Practitioners of dark magic harness this unique energy, creating trinkets capable of granting second chances. The mirror. Hmm. Okay. Wait, but, but was that your phone making a sound? No. So, when you speak, suddenly your voice went... <laughs> like, no, if they... like, like if you, like if you had a mouth fart or something. <laughs> it was not electronic. Okay, whatever that was, it was. At the very least, it wasn't intentional. At least. Hmm. Let's see. These are specials, unfocused Leviathan. Uh, though you are a sibling to he who had slain me, I will aid you for a time. Plus five, uh, plus five lurchers when breaking objects with this weapon. Plus 18 health generated per minute. Okay, so are these technically other weapons or weapon... Um, <clears throat> uh, weapon modifiers or something. Let's see. Unfocused rays. I am not interested in reason. Plus 10% weapon uh, spawns. Uh, plus 10% chance weapon spawns wrath when killing an enemy. Plus 10% wrath reward from wrath lurchers. Rejuvenation core. This stone automatically increases the amount of health restored by Nephilim's respite by 75. Okay. And then we can buy. Uh, yeah, more health. Uh, uh, let's see. It refills a single charge of the Nephilim's respite. Uh, souls like these don't interest me much. They're worthless in most circles and taste rancid to boot. But one demon's trash is another horseman's treasure, as they say. I'm nothing if not a giver, and I'd happily part with them for a price. Vulgrim. <laughs> okay, so this is basically how we refill our, uh, yeah, our, <laughs> our Estus flask, so to speak. As you wish. Do make sure they scream, horseman. Sell a dick. Okay. Uh, Wait, what? A look. Yeah, Volgram's still a dick. Oh! So we got him. Okay, okay. Let's see. Strength shard. This shard radiates power and draws energy from the soul of the one that consumes it. Converts strength of will into offensive might. This shard is largely dependent on the one who uses it, as its effect is determined by the strength of one's soul. Those who are weak-willed will find themselves receiving little benefit. And for those absent of soul, the shard's consumption is not advised. Jamera. Again. Hmm. Okay, so basically that's a, a damage boost, I'm presuming? Possible. Um, for those who want to ask Taylor what he said, I'm not sure, sure he said steal or sell. 
Okay, let's shatter so, these. So yeah. So I, I will not be surprised if Volgus tells anything. Greeting. This will be fun for both of us. Okay. And then we're forty-five short of the next. So do we have? Nope. Let's see. Okay, we have more than enough, but let's not shatter too many. Because I, I get the feeling that if we go down, or if, if we get killed, instead of reloading to a checkpoint, or well, we will reload to a checkpoint, but we'll probably lose whatever souls we're carrying. Ah. Vulgrim and his demon tongue. They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Indeed they do. But despite his thirst for souls, Volgram may be a useful tool on this journey. Let's see, where do we go from here? Uh, do we somehow jump across? Hmm. Or can we climb that? No. Hmm. hmm. Okay. And then I guess we are sort of stuck on this end. Do we have a map or anything? Uh, it doesn't look like it, or at least not yet. Hmm. Oh, there's something in here. Okay, just another clump. Okay, is there anywhere we can go from here, or do we have to backtrack? Well, whatever you do, don't eat the mushrooms. Yeah, not unless, uh, not unless we want uh, Fury to light up even more. <laughs> can we swing from that? Yes, we can. There we go. The counter attack always goes for the one that actually attacked. You can't aim it to something else. Okay. Yes. Still a bit low on the FPS. Hmm. Uh, I might tinker around. Oh, hello. I might tinker around a bit <laughs> with the the settings and how the game, how how the computer is supposed to prioritize this. I, I could add a command in Steam. Oh. These roots have grown. They seem to have taken over everything. Indeed, mistress. Yeah, you, you can use certain commands in Steam and, and stuff to uh, make sure that oh, one program gets priority over everything else. That might affect this, the stream somewhat. So it'll be a bit of a balancing act. And it seems that our respite is healing on, or refilling off of its own at certain points. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to go up that way some point. Hmm. What is that? Oh. Well, that Good was lag. Question. Even I heard that. There's something big and blue up here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that that is fact, definitely Maker Craft up there. The reason I knew, noticed it was lag is I saw the split second lag and yeah, I heard the lag in Hillian's voice and he said lag. No, oh, you're a ranger. That's what I'm going to call you until you get an actual name. They look like assassins. Hmm. Okay, what are you? Something we can't inter... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Something can we can interact with, we just need to give it a whack. Oh, oh dear. 
Um, I'm not seeing anything to swing from here. Hmm. Oh, towards the tree then. Hmm. Is there anything? Nope, there's nothing hidden Imagine that way. Imagine you crash into the tree walls. <laughs> Uh, this is Fury of the <laughs> Horsemen, not George the Jungle. <laughs> Greetings. This will be fun for both of us. As you wish. I should probably not. I should probably not bank too many souls since we well we need them to buy stuff. It, it, it'll probably be better than losing them. Oh, hello! Behind me, we ones. <laughs> Let me tend to our uninvited guests. So this is what you were doing before. So, currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand, and you are surprised, and more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfane Blackhammer. So you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? Aye, when there's something to make. Today my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. <sighs> Wrong question. <laughs> A tribe of useless hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? Ballsy. What do they call you? Jones. Jones. Question me again with your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid. Angel, demon, horseman, even maker. What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me! I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand the chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if I can help you? That by the chain you carry could use some work. I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulfane could enhance your arsenal, if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven. It's the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this. The bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch, they're sent to Haven. Must I touch them? <laughs> I accept your offer, Maker. Though I doubt it will make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal, then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? 
You seek a pit of Hellstretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes, I will shepherd the wee ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. So this is where Ultane was before he went into isolation, or is this another retcon that... Hmm... Is, that this be, was more what he was doing? It might be what he was doing before we met him in the first game with the pigeons. <laughs> yeah. As he called them. <laughs> this, this is his uh, pre-pigeon smashing days at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, the Bridgestone. Enchanted stone etched with ancient maker magic. It allows, the it allows the instantaneous transportation of any human directly to Haven. So basically, we need to go find a bunch of human Jinjos and send them back here. And you are a bit big. You you are a maker. There are more makers. Now you notice. Know welcome horsemen. I say welcome horsemen. Greetings, horsemen. Okay, these two just don't have much to say then. Hey, horseman. You are my horseman or horse lady? Or horse person? <laughs> uh, finally, someone points it out. Let's see. There was some small issues with the cutscenes there. Like, uh, he is certainly committed hmm? to his cause. Ulthane. His blinds what truly matters. Perhaps, yes. Just another pawn who will never understand the game into which he's been played. <laughs> and he does love the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Don't you like as well? <laughs> Did you say something? Uh, I noticed at some points during the cutscenes there that you know, the character, or the character's models seem to pop in like half a second into uh, a camera change. Yeah, but I saw a small stutter in the cutscene. But yeah, only a small at, one. It was running at 30 frames a second instead of the 60, well, that the rest is trying to get. Right. Angelic artifacts. Artifacts can be used to upgrade weapon enhancements. Ultang should be able to make use of them. All right. I come to get to these uh, beasties. Oh. Oh. Eat a bloody sandwich! Yes. Did I just turn Irish? <laughs> a bit. That was accidental. Oh, there's one of these again. <laughs> get back here, you. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, need to retreat for a moment. Okay, useful. It shows where danger can come from. Oh, and that's our first death. Well, and what will mob. happen then? Yeah, I should not have chased that thing. <laughs> I think it's first time we die from regular mob this early. In any of the games. Yeah, there we go. Back here, but with zero. Yeah, actually, were we still? No, we had some souls. They, they're called lurchers, but in the other games they were called souls, so I'm just going to call them souls. And okay, yeah, another thing from Dark Souls that you can collect your lost stuff if you don't die again. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to be careful because we're already at half health again. So let's quickly gather this up. Maybe we should take in story easiness. <laughs> yeah, we can check if the difficulty can be changed later. And if it gets too much, we can change things down a bit. Okay. 
Uh, let me take a quick little look. Controller, let's see. Attack, hollow attack. What is hollow attack? Let's see. Inventory throw. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you're going robotic. It's like we're hitting. Oh. connection has gone down. There you go, now it's up again. Yep. This time it was on my end, so I could see it on my bar. Yeah, that, that's been happening a few times now in the last week or so. Yeah, do. Yeah, the last time we tried this yesterday. You heard my, me go robotic, but that time my voice meter were not going red. This time my voice meter was going red, so it's more on my end this time. Other times there's been voice issues has been on Discord's end. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's a little way down there. Uh, let's check here first. And hello, the hell are you? <laughs> you are aggressive, that's one thing for certain. Maybe that's a strong version of the other ones. Uh, Havoc form. Uh, Temporarily call upon the Fury's Havoc form to decimate foes while in this form Fury inflicts massive amounts of arcane damage. Uh, left button and right trigger to unleash. Okay, before I pressed the shoulder buttons uh, to finish off Envy. Uh, not sure what that exactly did then. Maybe a special Fury attack? Adamantine. Adamantine can be used to upgrade your weapons. Bring Adamantine to Ultane to improve a weapon. Alright. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. On, on the next group of enemies, I'm going to test out what uh, pressing both of the shoulder buttons does. Because that certainly did something to Envy. Hello. Oh, this, yeah, this that's a, that thing. was a wrath attack. Okay, no, so that's been moved to the shoulders. Uh, just remember, in the first game, we occasionally used the Chaos form, but we barely used Dev's variant. Hello, in the second hello there. Game. Uh, for you. We're going Havoc. Oh, it's also refilling our health. Or is that from kills? Oh, yeah, this it, it is definitely a sight. And, okay, we can... We keep what we don't use. That is, that is going to be useful. Very useful. All right. This way is blocked. So, the only way we can go at the moment is down the hole. Uh-oh. I just realized something. Hmm? Is she a pun? Hell has no fury. No, just, 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 just kill me. Don't I, stop your yeah. boring, human. Come to me. Now. Do you want to live? What? what? If you want to live, I can send you to a safe place. Safe as any, I suppose. Touch it. It'll, it'll either do what she says or kill you instantly. <laughs> what choice do we have? Idiots. It's a miracle they ruled the Earth for as long as they did. <laughs> okay, she is getting a bit of bad side manner, but not much. Yeah, look, at simply I can understand her for let's be honest. Oh, it smells like death in here. Trust me. We shared a room a thousand years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Germati doesn't have the best track record. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, hello, the, the nether. Okay, we should keep our eye out for pigmen then. But yeah, the earlier, the, but the pun part is, yeah, hell has new fury. 
as a woman scorn or something. Yeah. What would you ask of this? Of this? Actually, really shut up and opened up. I don't feel, know if I like that pun, but uh, that I now realized it. Hmm. A bit, a bit cheesy almost. <laughs> let's see. Let's yeah. Let's try to avoid these consumables as much as possible. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's save up a bit for these. We will have to be careful, of course, that we don't die. Make sure they scream, Shut up, yeah. or we'll make you scream, Volgrim. I just realized, you know, she might be the only one that actually has harmed Volgrim. Like, the actual tip of the damn whip actually pierced a little bit of his throat. Yeah. And oh joy, it's these little fuckers again. Yeah, spiders. Ugh. And one of these beetle things. Okay, what are your attack patterns? Okay, simple Wait, swipe. I don't think that's a beetle. No, it, it has six legs, it has a... A shell or of some sort. Oh, it got eight. I think those are spiders as well. Yeah, bit oddly shaped ones then. Yeah, and like again, they... there are more species of spiders out in the world than I'd care to even know about. <laughs> yeah, I know. The reason I know that these are spiders is they're just using the. First two pair of legs as arms. Kinda like scorpion. Yeah, which are also counted as arachnids. So they. Mm. Then again, I have seen flying spiders. Thank you, World of Warcraft. Forgive me that nightmare vision of flying spiders. But. Yeah, this is an interesting evolution. Okay, there's some are stuff these, down there. Are these supposed to be armored spiders? I actually earlier mistook them for crabs. <laughs> oh, oh, they deal a lot of damage like that. Okay, get the safety and get healed. Wait. Are these supposed to be spider crabs? I guess. <laughs> what are the crab spiders in this case? There we go. Mac. Okay. Oh, what the? Okay, that's a new one. Let's get rid of these. Okay, easy enough. Yep. <laughs> I say it as his friend immediately jumps from my neck. Hmm. Oh, uh, tricky little fuck. Yep. Okay, I, I for a moment I thought it was a, a, a blocker of some sort, but. Yeah, Fury doesn't see, really seem to be the type to, to block, similar to Death. Okay. Getting a lot of clumps that we can turn in. Uh, later we'll have to check how much worth uh, we have in them. And I don't want to find out what those are. They look like calcified corpses. Cocoons? Uh. Surprise! Hmm. The green glow has a bit of a 
thing similar to the corruption from the death phase. Which would be around the same time as now. Yeah. Okay. City Hall, Stadium, Museum, and Downtown. Pretty small town. <laughs> pretty small place. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. This is uh -oh. little shit. Just comes up running, thinking it's going to hurt us. But nope. We just chuck it like a football. <laughs> okay, what do we chuck you at? That? Nope. The vest up on the floor? It has teeth, though. Uh, oh, oh, it's a living bomb. Yep. That works. <laughs> Not what I intended. <laughs> Uh, even more. Yep. Yeah. Oh no! I'm going oh. to flash back when that Lord of the Rings movie, Downtown the Goblin Town. <laughs> Being observant is literally in your name, Watcher. That's a big one. That's going to be at the very least a mini boss. Oop, spike. Yes. And punished for that. Okay, we can get through a bit with bottom mashing if we we're facing like one or two enemies, but against bigger groups, we're obviously going to need to focus a lot more on dodging and uh, help. I was going to ask, the hell is that up in four words? Oh. That was a rather stock. Oh. Okay. Come on. Oh, I can't. I can't pull out havoc for him. Oh. When, it, when it's not full. Okay, yeah, that, that's a very stock roar. Yeah, but one that has not been used in a while. Uh, yeah, that, that got hairy for a bit there. Uh, we should probably use a few of those healing shards then. Is that a throne? Slog. I heard tales, but truly, he is a terrible sight to behold. I, I think I may be sick. Well, that answers that. <laughs> That's sloth over there. Let's see then. Volgren's next spot. Let's see, we have 1500 straight out, and then we have. Keep mispressing the buttons. Let's see, 750 about, so 22. Then another 750, so 45 ish. Uh, yeah, we, we should have enough to get one of the weapons. Okay, that sound is... Uh, we, we can shatter all. Uh, wait, still? Okay, my count... Yeah, my count was off then, <laughs> very obviously. Yeah, we're 1,500 short. Hmm. What would you ask of this humble? Take your time. Let's see... E even more shards already? Let's see, an ancient blessing from the creator himself, channeled by a forgotten race of old ones into a single shard. On receiving a fatal strike, Fury's health is partially restored, this item must be consumed to function. Since the creation, the angels have searched every corner of existence for signs from the creator. 
Very rarely they will discover monuments blessed by his word. With the aid of old ones long since lost to history, the angels turn these blessings into miracles. Able to turn back death or turn demons away from darkness. Okay. I wonder who this Jemira is. If I'm even saying that name correctly. As well. Let's see. Ingredients. We're going to have to some sort of crafting system eventually, I'm guessing. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can I I think we should probably try to get this one since well health regeneration is always nice. As you wish. We just need to be very careful now that we don't lose the the souls that we have. Actually, we shall also use these freaking ability points. Let's see, we have four, five percent extra damage, twenty percent, and after twenty percent, twenty extra health. Let's put three in there, and one in strength. Survivability over offensive ability. Uh oh. Okay, probably a bit overkill, but got the job done. <laughs> uh, oh, another b of these bomb bugs. I think I know where to use it. Behind you? Mm, yeah. yeah. Wait, that killed it? Shouldn't it have gone explosive? Or does it need to be re near something red? No. Something burning? Hmm. I don't actually know if it was near anything last time. It was near something Enough. red last time. Okay. What are you? Oh, hostile. That's what. Also, you... Sp <laughs> you fall apart at one hit. Sliver of Adamantium. Alright. Come on, and I can't double what jump whilst I'm holding it. What did we do last time too? Hmm. Yeah. I I what, don't know. We must have done that. We must have done that completely on accident or something. I can hear metal. Oh, hello. Someone fighting pigeons. But I can't tell if they're Maker or Demon. Wait. Hmm. There was a Phantom. I recognize that weapon. It's their sights, but that's too big to be death. No, no, not death. I said Phantom. Ugh, the worst of the smells come from above. Oh, I see that's now what... Thing. Yep, that we we threw the bug into that last time. Yeah, that, that's what it said. The, the red thing. <laughs> okay, come here. I, I'll be named with George. I'll be pop you. I'll be hug <laughs> you. And I uh, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? No, George. Oh, you're just alive. Hey. Okay, yeah, now it becomes a living bomb. So, up. <laughs> and George went bye-bye. Okay, now to repeat that for the other area, which is probably just a shortcut. And hello there. Another one of these black bugs. Or demons, yeah, the, I can tell. The other ones had green glow. That one has red. 
Yeah, the one in the, we we found one in the corner outside of Haven earlier. That was similar, if not the same. So, out of precaution, I, I keep doing that where I go past it and then go the wrong way. It's base armor. Forged, large, uh, yeah, forged long ago in the early days of Nephilim Crusades, sturdy, practical, and effective armor befitting one of the four. Okay, uh, yeah, these are the ingredients. Now then, uh, how much... Oh, wait, do we need to assign these? Uh, oh, okay, no, we can swap through these. Oh, we can swap through the items uh, that we can interact use. So how much does a small shard do? Certainly not a small amount. At least not at the moment. And yes, I see that pickup over there. Can we actually get to that? No, that's across an abyss. Okay. So, for the moment, we are going to be saving up our souls for the weapon regen weapon. Wait. Yeah. Wait, the regen you... weapon, but... Uh, wait, didn't we have another one? Oh, yeah, you need to feed it before you can open another one. Yeah. He just becomes a spiky boy. I am. Okay, so that... Oh, yeah, I... I was right to be tempted to throw it at the bug. The other bug. So let's go get okay, that right now then. No. Is there another one of those things hanging around here? Not that I'm seeing. It's... Nope. And can double jump, so you go first. <laughs> So I like I like how Fury's hair just stands up at uh, no not up but hangs uh, almost horizontally most of the time instead of falling to the uh, ground. Or almost like fire. Yeah, now it's back on down. Okay, grab you and hello there. Now only fifty damage. Okay, well, it's open. Keep attacking. Uh, actually, lock onto the thing. When it's no longer stunned, we try to go for a, a time dodge. Otherwise, we just keep attacking another sliver and another crawl space. Hm. Yuri's the first one to actually go down on our knees for something like this. And, oh, hello there. Oh, hello, there's something red over there. Oh. Okay, camera suddenly <laughs> went inside. Hmm. Okay, maybe we found maybe we found this human just early. And we could also have found him another way. It doesn't really matter since we can go on now anyways. Hmm. Whoever that is, they are keeping they're holding their own. Something about this room. It looks pretty, yes, but... This stinks of an arena. Let's swap back to the respite. Yeah, I can, I can smell the hot dogs and the uh, corn bar. <laughs> you did it! Um. Okay. Do you? First, this. Do you? Okay, can we pick one of you up? No. We're just going to explode straight up.
Okay, send out your little suicide bombers. Up. Okay, we... There, there is quite it, a delay between dodges. So we can't rely on just constantly getting out. Yep. Okay, I was expecting it to... Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have the little ones, so... Yeah, of course it's not going to do that. And, oh, short. Uh, not short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, we might definitely need <laughs> to lower the difficulty at some point. I, I just need to focus on dodging over everything else. And, well, dodging well, not dodging early. Don't dislocate your arm, patting yourself on the back. That's a... Oh. Okay. How do you plan on dealing with that, my bloodthirsty mistress? Hmm. Well, first, we get our little pets. Oh. And we feed our little pets. Barty. And then we kill our little bat pet. <laughs> Can we climb up here? Yes, we can. Now, how much are you? Okay, a decent amount. Get a few more bundles. And we should be able to get a new weapon. I'm starting to feel like I should told you to take story. <laughs> Actually, is there a... let's see, options... Okay, I'm not seeing... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything to lower difficulty, so I'll, I'll just have to get good. <laughs> okay, the red ones burn up just the same. Oh, but, okay, the red ones reform. Okay, that is the difference. So. Reforming web? Hmm. Okay, is there a new one down here? Yes, there is. Okay. Hmm, but how are we going to get... Do we just have to make a big throw like this? Or... Nope. I think you need to do a big, big throw. Hmm. I think it's do going wait. to explode in midair then. Wait, can't you grab them from the distance? No, but what I can do... Is grab this little sucker... And bring him to the other point. And we'll have two of these ready to feed. Uh-oh. So we use one. We use you on that. Then this guy feeds. And there we go. Might be the point to do, actually. I get, yeah, the, the little hum confirms it, basically. <laughs> okay, who the hell is this? Music to my ears. Feel the uh, you're getting burnt yourself. Oh, 
Raw, so it, uh, heal. Oh, he we were told about this one by Ulrich. Uh, Ulfine, I mean. I want to say Ulrich for some reason. Okay, he's, his swings are pretty predictable. So far out, I say that and get hit in the face. Twice. Yeah, I need I need to stop dodging too early. So weren't you bigger before? Oh, also these things have a time. These have a cooldown. Who <laughs> was a very accidental dodge? Okay, I hope I split into your plus. Actually, I have expected to just blast through the wall there. Wrath, meet havoc. Yeah, I think this game. Oh, I think I see what's going on. I think you're so encouraged to use the, the, this a bit more. Ow. And to just dodge well. He might be a bit too tough for us at the moment. Or not. Your master summons you. Wait, what? Okay, that was hardcore. I don't think that's what they mean by a backstab, but we're adding it to the lexicon now. We were set up. War. The others. There are great forces at work here. Much of help. Something is wrong with the world. Delicate order is imbalanced. Yeah, you'd think they'd have told her that getting angry with Raz would only strengthen him. Uh, who? Step forward. Um, go. Yep. Now I ask of both angel and demon. Do you arrive here of your own free will? The tenants of the Hollowing demand it. I do, Lord of the Hollows. As do I. You have both fought this war since the dawn of time. You are weary. Yeah. Immortality prevents the ultimate respite. The Lord of the Hollows alone can bestow upon you this gift. The final release. No longer will your souls be recycled time and time again to fight for heaven and hell. They are now
virtuous creature awakens. Deluded pawn of the Charred Council. Do you even know where you are? When I know exactly where I am. The stench betrays you. The Hollows is a hell all its own. Indeed. But it is one that I alone rule. What did you do to them? Nothing that they did not wish for. <laughs> you wear your ignorance on your face. The true consequences of this so-called war for balance are beyond your comprehension. Perhaps I should hollow you. A watcher. This only confirms what I already held to be true. You are just a puppet. The Council is playing you to further their own machinations. Enough! Unlike you, I have not come to this place for personal gain. The seven deadly sins must be eliminated once and for all to protect the balance you mock. I will not be deterred. She speaks the truth, O oh Lord, and she is tenacious to say the least. Your words carry no weight with me. They stink of lies. At least not as a field. Wait. Is that the Ark of the Covenant only he carrying on his back? I have no idea, but it, I would not be surprised. Okay, just follow her. This is more than a test of battle. A demonstration, horseman. You are so quick to combat. Your whip ready to crack. True righteousness requires true insight. If this was a test, you have failed. To resist a call to raw impulse <laughs> is a different type of strength. Spare your wisdom. I know my strength, and when I prove it to the Council, I alone will lead the horsemen. The Seven will be destroyed, along with their designs for a world far more hideous than the Apocalypse we already know. Very well. You will need this. A flame hollow? For what purpose? Even I am aware that there are times when sides must be chosen. Take this weapon, and know that I have chosen mine. But take heed, horseman. The universe has so many faces. Your survival depends on what you have learned. You must open your eyes to much more than that which gazes back at you from the mirror. Fine. Can we go now? Not quite yet. There is the matter of Abraxas to discuss. Abraxas. A demon meddler. If Earth is to remain intact, he must be dealt with. Samael? Britain's your balance. His very soul must be brought to me. I see. And you want me to do it? Who better? I'll consider it. No guarantees. Then you and your watcher be gone. <laughs> so you were talking about her hair being like fire earlier? <laughs> um. Yeah, I had forgotten about that part. Let's see, Flame Hollow, left shoulder and B to activate it, a Y to perform an attack with the Flame Hollow, hold to perform a charge attack. Okay. Is this going to stick like this? I certainly won't mind. The fire hollow. 
something changes when I hold it. I can feel its power coursing through my hands. And now we can burn these ourselves. Okay, that is our first big upgrade. And uh, how are... Oh. Impervious to extreme heat. <laughs> I feel nothing. Like wading through a pond. <laughs> um... Okay. <Jay> Shun. Shun. <laughs> okay, this is a big upgrade. What is the... What is the downside of it? Did I, I think I just saw her health dwindle down a bit. So is there anything hidden here? I s yes, there is something hidden there. And the hollow. It, it's not hell, but it is somewhere. Hmm. Somewhere close to hell, I'm presuming, with all of the lava. You know, technically, it's magma since we're presumably underground. Okay, keeping an eye on my on health at the moment. No, it's not. It does not drain health. Okay. And what else is going to be the power source of this? Good question. I start to suspect that her hair will change depending what hollow she use. Probably, yeah. And there's another of uh, Fulgrim Spiles. <clears throat> Little vacation homes. Let's see, we need 850. Oh. Chains of Scorn. Okay. 70 plus 3 damage. Some attacks ignite the target. Okay, and the barbs are just 65. Not a, sm not a big difference. Scorn, the hill that Fury carries with her at all time. Da, 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 da. Inspired by the burning power of the fire hollow, Scorn takes the form of two blazing flails. Fury uses the flails to dispatch enemies with violent elegance. Okay, and then... Uh -oh. Let's see, we don't know. 400, 550... Uh, just a 50 short. I'm getting another weapon. Procured the flame hollow. How much for it? <laughs> You're kidding. I am. Look at you, learning to identify humor. That's character growth. <laughs> While well, you remain painfully the same, do you want something? Well, since you asked, I require. Ugh, oh, I hate this word. I require your help. <laughs> really? And truly, as you know, I am a demon about town, a busy soul trader. My business takes me all across this world and others. But something is blocking my way. Someone is muscling in on the serpent holes. This invasion has stripped me of my ability to move freely throughout the realm. Sounds like your hmm. problem, not mine. The Stone Marauders wish to control the Serpent Holes themselves. One must confront these unwieldy beasts for the good of all. <laughs> all right, but for the good of demons and horsemen, the Serpent Holes must be cleansed. That flame hollow is the first key. As you know, I am unfit for such an outing, but you and your whip are so much more persuasive. Why would I help you? This has the makings of a mutually beneficial relationship. I've heard this before. Still not happening. Ever. There are treasures hidden away in the Serpentine Network. You clear the way for me. They are yours. You will require more hollows to traverse the network in its entirety. But it will be worth it. Unlock the passageways, lay waste to the guardians, and I promise their bountiful treasures are yours and yours alone. I'll consider it, demon. Ah, 
Yuri, how kind of you to pay me a visit. I trust the slaying is going well. None of your concern, demon. Your tone betrays you, horseman. You see, I was right after all, yes? You and your kin have been deceived. That's no secret. But by who? Surely angels are the most likely suspect. Wouldn't you agree after what happened to dear old Rampage? Because we're angelic you weapons. You are not fit to speak his name. No need to unleash your might on me, horseman. Look to those who would benefit from your failure. Your enemies are closer than you think. Okay, there... Was it just me, or did the voice acting feel a bit off there? Could be because he's just doing a lot more lines now than compared to the previous games. Uh, or maybe it is that this is a different voice actor, or the original one has lost the touch a bit. Yeah, he might have been, uh, been evil or something. Uh, if, some, if the voice actor is ill, I presume they would not do their work, uh, or at least not as much. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that they might have had to replace him. If, if this is a different voice actor, they are getting damn close on some points. Please take your time. Let's see. Limbo, the void, what? Okay, I have no idea what this is. And we have the skyscraper, the crossroads. Let's go to the Maker's Forge. See if Ulthain has anything for us. Mm. Beyond that, we know that Sloth is in the Undercity, or in the Nether. Order. Let's see. I doubt two will have me enough to do it much. And what the hell are you making here? How can my hammer be of service, Fury? Aiming to lay down a mighty heart, Gary? Okay. Let's see. We need Andamantine to upgrade these. Let this one. <clears throat> The Barbs of Scorn are probably going to be our most basic weapon, so it'll be useful for upgrading that. But now, get even deadlier. Yeah, we, you, can't, you can't afford to upgrade both. Yeah, let's stick... Actually, hmm. How, how, are we, how are we supposed to swap between these hot lows? Hmm. Let's inspect. There should be a way to do it. Let's see. It's not through consumables, very clearly. Uh, I see the icon up there for it. Yeah, underneath our wrath bar. I know what you said, but for some reason I just imagine a bar full of rats. <laughs> Hello. I can finally sleep safe. <laughs> he says uh, next to a woman with hair <laughs> made of fire inside of a tree. <laughs> and yeah, I'm guessing this place is going to fill in more and more with people as we go. And that is very clearly going to be a, de a death fall. Oh, so that's why that is there. And now that we have the flame hollow, we can actually open this up. Oh, it means there's some areas early we can get to, we can finally get to. Yeah, there was that other area below in the nether. Yeah, that one spot we needed to burn a web or something. Um, are we supposed to go somewhere from here? Ah, there, I see. Okay, <laughs> for a moment she didn't react there. <laughs> Half panicked. <laughs> okay. 
We are running a bit low on time, though. So let's just keep exploring for now. And yeah. Try and find another one of Volgrim's little hiding spots. Another s okay, now we can upgrade the normal barbs. Uh, the barbs again, if we choose to. And what is that grinding noise? Well, I'm not grinding my teeth, if that's your asking. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I think something else is going to be needed to progress here. Hmm. The skull on the compass is a light green now. Does that mean... <clears throat> <clears throat> and earlier before it was red. So is that supposed to be meaning towards the difficulty of the specific sin that is nearest? Oh, sure. If I remember the saying it changed color the closer you get. Could, hmm, could also Above. be. Uh, I'm going to take a guess that it means difficulty for now. Oh. Okay, we outran the preloading. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's go back to Volgrim's, then we'll ton. <clears throat> we'll warp back to the. Actually, let's take a look at the voids. Maybe that is what they mean with what the place being of blocked off. Please take your time. Let's see. What is this? If it's something optional, then we can just go back and to the, head for the nether. Yeah. Do, again, I say this. I hope we get to use our special form a bit more for, again, the second game. I'm not sure if we ever used it. Now, we used it a decent amount, and yeah, this is the the void with the serpent holes. I have never been witness to structures of stone floating so freely. We should be burned. I know we saw him in cutscenes using his special form, but I don't think you you use Death's special form much yourself compared to War. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Now that you mention it, I think uh, you basically should finish the game without using it by accident. Uh, that I find doubtful. <laughs> okay, just jank the fucker back road. <laughs> All right. Oh, hello there. Up, up, motherfucker. Hello, oh, peasant. Yeah, he, and each of those shots takes about a, a sixth or so of our health. Yeah, they, these range these range attackers are going to be such an utter pain. But these are the stone marauders. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're literally stone. <laughs> yep. Hmm. So, um, what? Something tells. Something about Vulgin feels like he's lying. Uh, he is a demon after all. It is in his best interest and in his nature to lie and scheme. So might these not be not be raid marauders? Might be actually uh, guardians? I don't know. Could be. It wouldn't surprise me that he set off some sort of defense system. Yeah, he did mention Guardians earlier, which maybe gave me a lot of red flags that he might be up to something. Okay, I'm thinking we should have enough now to get... ...of such creatures, with the power to manipulate stone to their very will, and take on a physical form. Okay, two extra. Try and keep them off balance as much as possible. Oh, 
Okay, so these are just being used in stone as armor and weapons. From the sounds of it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to be more careful and economic with our dodges. Because if we dodge when they don't swing, we're leaving ourselves open for an attack from when they do. We've already seen that it hurts quite a bit. Yeah. Just keep on the pressure. Keep an eye out for incoming attacks. <laughs> and send that one into infinity. Okay. This is going to activate something, but first... Deal with this. Just in case it's going to awaken. Okay, that is for up there, but we can't reach that at the moment. And, yeah, at the moment, the fire weapon, or the Flame Hollow's weapons are our heavy attacks. Or our alt weapon at the moment. But they're all flame, so... Yeah. And we can combo these together quite well. <laughs> and uh, this isn't meant as a pun, but Fury does look hot like this. <laughs> Someone getting bonked today. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do you do? Okay, it doesn't move that one. Come on. Just as I was going to heal, but that would have hit us anyways. All right. I just hope that uh, if we die now, that it doesn't actually destroy the amount of souls that we had, because that would that would up the difficulty quite a bit if we start losing some of our progression. Yeah, and for a split second, you and these electronic things are bad. Well, I guess we'll find out now. Or not, okay. Oh, come on! I guess if that was a bit of a bit of a mercy. Yeah. Uh, same as in the previous games. If we fall off somewhere, we actually we actually get put back down with just some health lost. So yeah. I, I really don't want to find out if we're going to lose those souls because we're so freaking close to getting a new weapon. But yeah, these bastards have respawned. So... Yeah, I don't understand. If you want to borrow something to Dark Souls, why that mechanic? Okay, quickly deal with that one. Keep in mind that I also still have Wrath. Okay. Now, deal with you. Get... Stay clear of the ledge. Actually, we... The ledge isn't that... Isn't as dangerous. But it's still... Will likely to get hurt from it, so we need to be careful with that. 
Okay. Luckily, our collection should just be around the corner, and we're 200 you know, souls richer. Okay. This time, we're not going to chase. We are going to dodge early, but at least it... It was only one. The emphasis on was. And that was overkill, but at the very least, we have these back. Wait, they actually go into our... All right. And yeah, we have more than enough. Early. Might be something to try and prevent you from corpse rushing or something. Or to ins actually, actually, I think that is probably to ensure that if if you die close to your uh, previous collection, that not all of the souls that you and you know, that not all souls are lost or something. Yeah, I, I'm guessing. Be. I'm guessing we, we don't lose souls uh, permanently. Yeah, it's I you hope. Might, basically, you may may make the soul pile bigger. Yeah, as a bit of compensation. So, hopefully they made, be, made a more merciful version of what Dark Souls has. I presume, because Dark Souls is a pretty hardcore thing with all that. And a very grindy one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, after seeing this level, I feel like, yeah, I will not buy this game and play it. I hate these kinds of levels. Nope. I I'd partially forgotten that jump. Um, do we want to risk going over there with that? But it, it would only cost us a bit of health if we miss. Hmm. And yeah, we are definitely we definitely need to use it to get back here. And yeah, we've hit the timer, so hmm, can we save anywhere? Hmm, doesn't seem to be. Okay, we might have to put in a little bit of an alternate rule here. Oh, okay, so that's what that does, and that doesn't help us at all. Hmm, yeah, we're going to have to put in a bit of a rule if we're like... Uh, at in the last 15 minutes of a stream and we're near one of the uh, one of Volgram's plinths that we call it there so we don't risk the <clears throat> that we don't risk uh, well running into an area where we don't have access to one when we do run out of time so yeah we're going yeah. to have to backtrack a bit for now well we now know what we should be able to do here and yeah, we're we're going to need to do the the flame jump to progress, or at least get that that yeah get to that platform, I presume. No, just ignore all of these and just run home. I'm guessing these are sort of wards to keep them out. The, these are actually the same that we saw on a. Uh, in the original Darksiders, with the past that kept forming. Yeah. Uh, actually. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Oh, the game has an autosave feature. Okay. So yeah, we don't need to save, but we would we we would we, yeah, risk a with we, we would risk losing some uh, a little bit of progress. But uh, yeah, that I'm. <laughs> I like what we have so far, and this button it is. Oh, and, and it 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 saved right there as we closed it. Okay, yeah, it's going to auto save every time we do that. Then we can just save wherever. Uh, forget the uh, fifteen good. minutes rule. Then. Yeah, that, that's gonna be good actually. Okay. Well, this was the first time 
<clears throat> as a main week VTuber with the overlay added as well. Uh, I hope the audio on the intro and outro wasn't too off and that it isn't making people queasy or anything because, uh, yeah, Vic Vicir, you didn't get to see or hear that, but it was it's basically uh, an animation of a swaying uh, captain's of a captain's quarter uh, swaying a bit in the water with uh, I, I, well ocean sound over it. I noticed that when you were sending me the video of it earlier. Yeah. Uh, also, I have to say something here. Sorry, point earlier, but this is the first dog side game that has not been having crashes. True. I will be tinkering things a bit outside of the game to up its uh, pro uh, yeah, to up its performance a bit. Uh, if that doesn't work, I'll just be lowering the settings to medium. But so far, not bad at all with. Uh, some stuttering here and there and some slow bits, but nothing like slowing down to a crawl or anything. Yeah, it's been working much better than the other two games, <laughs> but yes, yesterday we had a pro problem with the controller, but that was not a problem with the game. That was a problem with the controller. Yeah, there was a problem with Windows because uh, the, basically the deal with that was I was trying to you know, repair my controller to the computer again. But because it had, because it hadn't been removed as a device while it was still connected, it refused to well remove it, and as such would not allow me to repair it. So I had to use a PowerShell uh, custom command from the internet to basically delete it as an item, and then I could reconnect it again. Ah. And yes, I am keeping that script saved up, so I don't need to find it again sometime. Probably a good idea. But still, First Oxider has not been giving us uh, weird issues. Yep. Anyways then. Uh, I, I hope this went well for the stream. Um, I'm seeing actually 0.0% uh, frames lost. Only 126 of... Half a million frames. That, that is good, I'd say. Uh, at Lovely. least in the stream end. We, we do know that the game did drop in F FPS here and there, but as I said, I'll be trying to work on that uh, on my own. So, beyond that, then, um, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you especially, as always, Drakir. You must welcome us always, my old friend. <laughs> and yeah, tomorrow, uh, if possible, we'll be starting with uh, the secret, the third secret of Monkey Island game, the curse of secret, uh, the curse, the, the curse of the secret of the Monkey Island, <laughs> curse of Monkey Island, uh, if it wants to cooperate, of course. Uh, if not, I'll actually have to find a replacement uh, for that. But I will do my best to get it working. I really hope it will work. And yeah, Monday we'll be going back to this uh, as the second catch-up stream. And then Tuesday, even more Darksiders. <laughs> uh, but until then, or rather until tomorrow or next time, whichever may be first. Thank you all for watching again. And until then, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, folks. <laughs> <laughs>